Hello, I hope all is well. So this is my 10 HP Iron Man. 10 HP, 60 attack, 72 strength, and 85 magic at just level 50 combat. Now with the Tome of Fire and Fire Wave, I'm able to hit up to a 30 with magic. Also with a Dragon Dagger, with a Super Strength, and the Super Strength Prayer, I'm able to hit a 23-23 spec with the DDS. For those unfamiliar with my account, since I am an Iron Man, I do not gain combat experience from PvP and therefore will not level up my hit points or my combat beyond level 50. This allows me to stay in a position where I'm extremely powerful relative to my combat bracket. On the other side though, since I have 10 HP, I could easily be one-shot by anyone in my combat range, like this Dark Bower that I tracked all the way down from 30 Wilderness. One single shot on me and he would have been able to one-shot me. But this the sheer power and constantly forcing him to eat, he wasn't even thinking about fighting back, just trying to escape. I spend a lot of time rushing in PvP worlds, and since I am an Iron Man, I can't pick up the loot. I keep my main on standby to try to loot if there is something that looks pretty good. I don't really care all that much about the loot, that's why I'll frequently attack PKers who are unscalled, because it's more about the kill and getting a good clip of like a nice spec on somebody than it is about getting the loot, but I used to PK a lot of dark bowers uh, and get a lot of dark bows back before they got rid of the ability to teletab right after specking when the PvP worlds used to have a lot of low 30s uh, dark bowers that I could take out with one dragon dagger spec. Another cool thing about this account being level 50 is I can attack a lot of the obby maulers like this guy here. They do have pretty high hit points for their level, but since their levels are often low to mid 30s in the PvP worlds, I can hit the level 35 obby maulers. I also died to the DFS in one shot like that, so uh, that happens. A lot of deaths when you have a 10 HP account like this. Another downside with the PvP worlds, besides all the deaths, is the really high fail rate and just how long it takes to sometimes find a good target. A lot of these PKers are used to being rushed and are able to get away, even though I can potentially stack a 26 with Ice Blitz and then a 23-23 with the Dragon Dagger. That doesn't really happen very often. Uh, it's really cool when it does but um, I tend to find myself being more successful and honestly having a lot more fun up here at Black Chins. There's a lot of level 20-some accounts like this guy that are specifically designed with defense, prayer, and hit points to survive in this level of wilderness, but they're really not prepared to stack up against my high offensive power account here. I do like to also take out the PKers when I can. Obviously, any PKer that's near my level uh, should be able to kill me pretty easy, but I think this guy was like maybe level 42 and I took him on in kind of a just a straight one-on-one -on -one fight with the Guthix T or the, yeah, the Guthix Rest. I can boost my hit points up to 15. It's still not great, but if I can use Entangles or Ice Blitz and kind of use the trees to my advantage, I'm sometimes able to be successful even against these. Like right here, this is over a 500k PK off just a chin hunter that honestly was not expecting to die because they're not expecting someone in their level range that can attack a level 22 is going to be able to have the damage output of me. Uh, there's another take out of an obby mauler. I really really enjoy when I can get the spec on those guys. So my imaginary sponsor generic mobile freemium game has dropped me because apparently advising against downloading their app is something they were not too fond of. So if anybody knows of a new crappy imaginary sponsor like uh, maybe an unproven dietary supplement or even a multi-level marketing company, let me know. That'd be awesome. No, but in all seriousness, I have no problem with people taking sponsorships. I get that a lot of folks depend on this as their main source of income and you've got to do uh, what you've got to do. For me, I've always been real casual about it obviously being a, a real small channel there's very unlikely I would ever get offered any type of sponsorship but I've always told myself that if I were I, I would only take one that is something a product that I use myself and would honestly genuinely recommend to my friends so after spending a good amount of time up at Black Chen's I've been able to group uh, the hunters that I'm able to attack into pretty much two main categories there are the bots that wear absolutely nothing and they insta-log when a scald player in their level range runs onto the screen. And then there's guys like this in the high teens to low 20s, often wearing myth or addy armor with protection prayers and a decent HP level as well. And these guys, some of them have over 40 million hunter experience. So I'm not sure if they are, some of them may very well be legitimate skillers that are just designed to survive up here. Others may very well be gold farmers. 
I'm not too sure, but either way, I was killing them. And some of them would drop as many as 200 chins at a time. So you could tell these guys clearly don't plan on dying. They, they stay up there for a long time, and they gave me some really, really good loots. So I run into a fair amount of these like lower level PKers that are after the chin hunters as well. Actually, this guy is level 50, my level. And uh, oftentimes they're hard to actually catch them though because, so in order to be able to loot a kill with my main, he has to be in the world at the time the kill is made. So like if I were to kill this guy and my main were in another world and then I tried to switch him over, that loot would not appear. So usually what I do is hide the 10 HP uh, in a corner somewhere and I'll hop around with the main until I see a target but oftentimes the low-level PKers cycle through the world so fast that I can't end up catching them I actually in the process of making this video I missed out on like two or three level 30 sums with dark bows that I would have been able to get or they would have either killed me in one shot or I would have been able to spec them out um, nice 240 chins in one kill that's over 500k off one chin hunter. So if it's not painfully obvious, I don't use any third party plugins, no rune light, no OS buddy. I never have. I just play the game the way I'm used to, the way I always have, and the way it's always been for me. And I know that maybe lose out on some efficiency, but for me, that's just how I like to play. And so if I don't get the loot, I don't actually get to see how many chins there were. Um, another thing I have to deal with a lot is this. These guys have protectors. So I was able to get the log out on that level 67. So that's honestly one of the biggest challenges up here is if you're not paying attention, these guys will bring in their level 60 or 70 pure and take me out in one shot. So I've always got to be watching. I, I don't lose a ton, but it can really add up just the blood runes and the dragon dagger every time uh, that I got to go buy new stuff. The money for supplies is probably the first thing that comes to mind when thinking of the consequence of all these deaths but what's honestly much more tedious is just being an iron man and all the little things you have to get for yourself like before i want to go make a pking video and spend a bunch of time pking i gotta make sure that i've got enough teleport tabs which means i might have to go mine clay and make soft clay or i've got to have a bunch of rings of dueling or um, burning amulets so i got to get the emeralds or the topaz like collect balls of wools just other Iron Man annoyances that would be a lot easier for if you could just buy them on the Grand Exchange but then of course not being an Iron Man the fact that I've been able to be 10 HP for like three years on this account has been uh, has really made it what it's what it is and what's made this account so much fun and and so successful for me so I sort of wanted to keep PKing but I got to the point where this video is already longer than what I normally make and I hadn't put up a PKing video in a while, and it was probably my best chance for the next week or so to actually sit down and do some narrations. I kind of feel like the problems I had as a kid, but now exacerbated. Like, I used to think I didn't have enough time to play when I was in middle school and was only allowed to play on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I, I would sit there during the week and think of what I wanted to do when I was allowed to play for the weekend. And now I kind of have the same issues, but it's when I get free time from work and then when my kid is in bed. So here is my result from, I would say, around 10 hours of PKing. That's just an estimate. I'm going to say it was about 10 hours. So over 500k per hour in loot. About 2k black chins. That's the bulk of it. Dark bow and some good rune knives and some amethyst arrows from the PvP worlds. All right, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I do hope you found it interesting, and I will see you in the next one.